Robotics is a technology which is fundamental. It's fundamental for automation, for manufacturing. Industrial robotics is an enabling technology for all manufacturing plants. But it is also important in service robotics, like in medicine, for example, surgical robotics or similar. It is becoming more and more important in social robotics. That means robots that will be for education or for assisting in activities of daily living and also at home. This will be an important important business for the future and uh, will be fundamental in order to have uh, uh, an additional and new automation wave. I believe that we have to constantly perform technological foresight. That means uh, observe the evolution, for example, of artificial intelligence, generative artificial intelligence or robotics, which is, uh, by the way, my area, or the combination of artificial intelligence and robotics and material sciences or technologies for agriculture and precision agriculture. And we will have uh, further waves of automation in manufacturing, but also in service robotics, but also in social robotics which will be, I think, important in the, in the near future. So it's the combination of robotics, bioengineering and biorobotics and biotech, which can be a big change in medicine. For example, uh, we, if we go to surgical robots, we have now in surgery robots that can uh, reduce uh, the impact and uh, minimal invasive uh, interventions or provide the possibility of making interventions without really opening the body. So it's uh, something which is uh, which uh, is revolutionary in that sense because it changed surgery at all. There will be a revolution also in agriculture, that for sure. Also because climate changes and uh, the impact of this climate change uh, is very strong on agriculture. So we need uh, technology in order to overcome this impact. I am concentrated on also on the quality of jobs. So I uh, would like to work for having high quality jobs and high quality workplaces for our uh, young generation and, 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 and our workers. And I think that robots can be a support for improve the quality of work. So it's the quality of the job, because I can offer a job, but the, if the job is in environmental conditions, which are uh, not good for the health and safety of the worker, this is not good, it's better to send the robot. One problem that we have is the aging of society. And by having this uh, aging of society and of people and also of workers, a new wave of automation is expected in order to do jobs that people don't want to do. I think in Europe we can do more for uh, uh, running against this demographic crisis and one way of uh, addressing these problems related to the aging of population is to empower young generation to have more uh, visibility, more power and more freedom. We have uh, a large area which is an international area collecting 20 27 member states with their ecosystem for putting together efforts and uh, synergies in order to develop high level science. So uh, there are uh, objectives, missions and methodologies that cannot be reached by a single state and a single uh, uh, system uh, in in, uh, in competition with the several other countries. Only together, by together different critical masses, we can be competitive. So the combination of robots and artificial intelligence will make the difference in medicine, in healthcare, in service. This is important for uh, European citizens because it is their future which is uh, important and without technology we will not have the possibility of being competitive in these areas.